Hello and welcome back to my channel. We are doing previous year question. Today in this video, we will cover questions on soil or crops. If you want to solve all previous year questions, I have made a compilation. Link will be in the description. You can buy from there. First question. Soils of Western Rajasthan have a high content of aluminium, calcium, nitrogen, phosphorus. Answer is B. Calcium. Fertile soil suitable for growing common crops is likely to have a pH value of 3, 4, 6 to 7, 9 to 10. Answer is 6 to 7. Next, which one of the following soil types of India is rendered infertile by the presence of excess iron? Desert soil, alluvial, podzolic, lateritic. Answer is D. Lateritic. The laterite soil, there is excess of iron. Also, aluminium is present in laterite soil. Next, Identify the correct order of the process of soil erosion from the following. Splash erosion, sheet erosion, rill erosion, gully erosion. Sheet, splash, gully, rill, rill, gully, sheet, splash, gully, rill, sheet, splash. This question has directly been picked from NCRT. Answer will be A. First there is splash erosion, then sheet, then rill and lastly gully. Next, laterite soil is found in India. You see how the question has been repeated. Western Ghats, Eastern Ghats, Deccan Plateau, Satpura region in Madhya Pradesh. Laterite soil is rich in iron and aluminium and considered to have formed in hot and wet tropical areas. Answer will be A. Western Ghats. Heavy rainfall affects soil by increasing its acidity, increasing its alkalinity, reducing its fertility, none of these. Now this is a simple question at the same time confusing also because when the soil is formed under the conditions of heavy rainfall the soil is acidic but heavy rainfall also removes the finer topsoil it causes the leaching and hence reduces its fertility answer here will be c reducing its fertility you can post your answer in the comment section and we can discuss on that next gypsum is added to the soil to increase the alkalinity, to decrease the acidity, to decrease the alkalinity as an insecticide. Answer will be C. To decrease the alkalinity. Gypsum helps in retaining the water for a longer period of time. In this way, it increases the fertility of the soil. Next, which soil is best suited for paddy crop? Black soil, loamy soil, hard soil, red soil. Paddy crops need water for a longer period of time. So, the soil which retains moisture will be best for paddy crop. So, answer will be B. Loamy soil. Why the Indian farmers plow their fields during the time interval between two crops? In order to keep the soil loose for further cultivation, this is also true. To increase the porosity of the soil, to escape drought, to prevent clodding. Plowing the field prevents clodding means clumping of the soil. So, both A and D are true. Answer in most websites is given D. Post your answer in the comment section. Next, maximum production of paddy per unit water consumption can be best achieved in a non-porous soil, porous soil, impervious soil, soil that allows slow percolation. So, paddy needs more water. The soil which will allow slow percolation will be best for it. So, answer will be D. Soil that allows slow percolation. Next, mulching the soil is a process whereby big pieces of soil are broken down into smaller pieces. The field is irrigated at regular intervals. Transplanting of seedlings take place. Loose materials, dung etc. are laid on the ground to prevent excessive evaporation or erosion of the soil. Answer will be D. You must read about types of irrigation systems, cropping system. These questions are asked repeatedly. Next, which of the following is the correct order of increasing size of the grains of soil particles? Clay, silt, sand, gravel. Answer will be A, B, C, D. Next, fertility of soil can be improved by removing dead earthworms, adding dead earthworms, adding living earthworms, removing living earthworms and adding dead earthworms. Answer C, adding living earthworms. So, these were some important questions asked in UPSC IS prelims. Do revise. And do practice these questions as they are repeated not only in UPSC prelims but also in other exams such as CDS, CAPF, NDA, state exams, graduate level exams, etc. Hope you like this video and do subscribe if you are new here. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.